An assayer basically is just telling you the composition of the metal. And here we have different purities of metal that we deal with. So it's my job to make sure that when we say a coin is 24 karat gold, that it's 24 karat gold, it's 22 karat gold, it's 22 karat gold, and so forth. It's important because we're actually certifying to the American public that the coins they buy from the government are the purity that we say they are. And we do guarantee the weight of the metal in troy ounces and the alloy composition. Well, the, um, the lab has kind of a two-fold function. We have four chemists up here that are looking at um, the blanks as they come in and we'll verify and pull our samples based on either melts or the ANSI standard. And when the blanks come up here, we start with the whole blanks and we're looking for physical dimensions, weight, um, diameter, hardness, and then we'll go ahead and slice the blanks in half and look at the microstructure, the profile, and then we'll actually take that and roll it flat and sample for alloy composition. Once the blanks meet all those parameters, we'll go ahead and release it to production for stamping. And then our second function is we have three quality inspectors down on the production floor, one on each shift, and they're responsible for looking at the first strikes, doing roving inspections, and looking at the last strike coins. They photograph them, and they archive the coins and record all the data in a database. Once we get the first strike, we also get the last piece, and this is the last coin that we get before the dies are retired. So we do have a record of minting from the first strike of the coin all the way to the last, last piece of the coin.